What's up guys, welcome back. You're about to watch the Build Kit Board Duo Review. It's an unbox, build, and first ride, so it's quite a long video, about probably 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit more. If you're only interested in the ride footage, you can skip forward to 10 minutes 44. That's when we're out on the field testing the board. If you wanna see the unbox and the build, that's coming up right now. Uh, there will be a SWOT analysis at the end. That's where we'll talk about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and if there are any threats to the board. Uh, and if you are interested in buying the board, there is a link in the description, and in full transparency, it is an affiliate link. You get $50 off, uh, and I get some money in my pocket as well for referring you for the board. Please know this will not cloud my judgment at all. Uh, all my reviews are very unbiased. I like to look at every single board, and if there's anything wrong with it, I will definitely talk about it. But that will be highlighted in the SWOT analysis, the pros and cons at the end of the video. Right, enjoy the video, and remember, 1044, if you just want to see the ride footage, you want to see the whole thing, here it is now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a very special video. Today is the day I'll finally be able to respond, answer and comment on uh, all of the questions and comments you guys have put on the channel regarding one particular brand and that brand is Build Kit Board. Every single time I've posted a video, whether it be uh, the Vestar Mini, the Boosted, the Stoke, the X-Way, the V2, uh, any board, every single board I've posted and shared online, I've always received comments going, this is crap compared to BKB, BKB is so much better, why would you waste your money, BKB is X price and so much cheaper, it's more reliable, it's better batteries, it's better motors and so on and so on. And I've never been, oh my God. And I've never been able to comment back on that because I've never seen one, tried one, had one, nothing but today that's all going to change behind me here we have the latest release from bkb the duo board and it packs some serious specs i'm gonna read off my phone just because i want to make sure i get 100 percent right so 20 mile range 324 watt hour battery in the duo caliber 2 trucks 6061 motor mounts they're using the vx1 remote control which is a one of my personal favorite shapes abec 9 bearings 35% hill climb, which we will put to the test. 6,000 watts of power. It's obviously VISC based, concave deck. 6354 motors. Um, so that's up to 3,000 watts of maximum power per motor, which is maximum is important there. That's the maximum power, but with that VISC, you can really turn it up and get a heap of performance. It's a 42 and a half inch uh, true flex deck, high quality motors, really nice battery. Obviously VESC, so we know it's going to have really nice controls. Good trucks. Uh, comes with multiple wheel options. So you have 97 mil standard. You have uh, the 120 cloud, and I think they do a six inch pneumatic as well, which you can order. And all of this starts from $849. $849, which is ridiculously cheap. Today we're going to go through the process. I'm going to go into Hyperlapse and build the board. And then we're going, we're going to go out and put it to the test. What I'll do is I'll come in and come out of Hyperlapse and just show you any particular things. But let's quickly have a look at what's in the box uh, and then let's build the board. All right guys, so here is the box that comes in. You'll notice straight away, it's a lot smaller than every other Escape board you'll probably ever receive. And that's because obviously it's not built in the box. <clears throat> We're gonna build it ourselves. So let's jump straight in and see how it comes packaged. Cause this will be very, very interesting to see how they fit everything in there everything you need is in this box batteries enclosures the visc the wheels um, the heat sink because this is the new upgraded their latest upgraded model their v1.1 um, the deck obviously i think i've said the charger okay there we go it's very nicely packaged okay there it is on there. Ooh, there you go. Okay. So in here we can see straight away. You can see the deck, the motor mounts, the trucks, the wheels with the pulleys, ABEC, AU, so I'm guessing that's the charger, yes. Enclosures, 
and a few other goodies up here. There's a checklist, so you know someone has checked that everything is in the box. And in here is a set of instructions. Uh, BKB, thank you for your support, always wear a helmet. Now it's time to start building with a QR code. So we're gonna scan that QR code. We're gonna scan that QR code and we're gonna go through this step by step. Let's lay this out all a little bit tidier first. So let's unpack it. Whoa. Okay, so there is a lot of stuff in that box. We've got everything from the VESC, the charge of the wheels, the two huge motors with a really thick gauge wire, the caliber trucks, um, the motor mounts, the new heat sink, which is the latest addition on their 1.1 model. Uh, T-tool, gears, nuts, hardware, risers, hangers, bearings, spacers, battery, tools, uh, remote, remote module. It even comes with Loctite for the bolts. Obviously the instructions. And here is this really nice cambered 42 inch deck, which I can't wait to build. Okay guys, so let's build the board. I'm gonna raise the camera up, we'll go into hyperlapse. I will come in and out and talk to you about anything important or anything, any struggles I'm having. But yeah, let's go, let's build it. Okay, first tip, when you're putting the truck together, and you're putting the hanger onto the base plate, the bolt seems a little bit too short. Just check, because the bolt wasn't all the way through it. I needed a little bit of force to pull through, which gave me that extra about five mil, <clears throat> gave me the extra five mil to be able to attach it onto that to now mount it. Always check your bolts. Okay, so that's the first truck setup done. Now I haven't over tightened the bolts. I've gone that to it's just tight. I'll check all those again before I ride it. But the last thing you want to do now, the very first step, is crush a bearing. So just be aware of that. Nice and nice and loose, not too tight. Okay, let's move on to the rear ones now. Okay, so we've just set up both the motor mounts. We put Loctite on each bolt. Um, now we haven't tightened them all the way down because we need to be able to adjust them once we get to the belt, adjust, belt adjustment stage. So they are just finger tight in there with one dot of Loctite on each bolt. guys so we're about 40 minutes in so far we've done the front truck setup that is all done that is created we've done the rear which is where the bulk of the work has been we've attached the motor mounts lock tighted everything adjusted put the belts on wheels on bearings on motors on everything's ready to rock and roll let's move on to the next step now so far everything has gone very smoothly everything's labeled perfectly like left left right right oh oh that sort of thing no issues so far, really happy. Let's keep going. Okay, so we had a technical issue. The battery went flat on the camera, I didn't realize. Uh, I've been trucking along, not recording. So far we've got the rear mounted, we've got the front mount. I've just started working on the enclosure. We've just put the heat sink through, the new CNC milled heat sink in the enclosure with the VESC. Just put it in the, um, charge port we're about to do the power button everything's going really well so far um, I've made a couple of my own silly mistakes but they were completely my own mistakes which I'll talk about uh, once we've finished let's keep going I reckon we've got about another 30 minutes of build time
are done. That took me a little longer than I expected. I will be very honest with you. I made a couple of silly mistakes along the way. Uh, put one motor up the wrong way, so I had to undo all that. Bolts put in the wrong hole in a couple of times for the, for the trucks. But here it is, all built, all ready to rock and roll. And I gotta say, it looks mean. So I'm just gonna turn the board on. Okay, board on, remote on. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh, that remote's nice. Wow, okay. Whew. Right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in the side. I'm gonna let all the Loctite cure. It's very important that you let that cure and set. If I can, I can go and ride it right now, but nothing's gonna be set, and I'd hate for this to fall apart or for something to come loose while I'm riding. So let's cut there. Um, we've been through three batteries today, so we'll put everything on charge. And if the sun's out tomorrow, we'll take this for its first ride and I'll give you my full in-depth report. All right, guys, we'll see you Here soon. We go. We're out in the field. We've got the brand new, unridden, as you can see, BKB Duo. I'm all padded up for this one for two reasons. I've got my Nobleman tech pads on. I'm padded up for two reasons. One, this is a very fast board. And two, I built it. And... I don't trust something that I've built. I've got some tools in my pocket in case anything comes loose. Today's gonna to be a first ride, first impressions with a SWOT analysis at the end. We're going to test the performance. There's some hills around here, I'm out at Manly. So this is where I test a lot of my boards, so I know the hills, I know how boards perform. I have a funny feeling this is going to outperform probably everything that I've tested in the past. Uh, helmet, pads, full battery, let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. First ride on the BKB Duo. Now, I'll tell you straight away, I don't know the speed modes. The remote doesn't have a screen or anything. It's just got a light system. So it's got red, orangey green, and dark green. I'm guessing it's red slow, orangey green is medium, and dark, and dark green is fast. We'll go with that theory. We'll start off in red. Ooh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this has got a lot of power. Um, wow. Okay, you can 100% feel the power straight away. I'm just gonna put this into green for a second and just see if it feels the same. Oh, the brakes. Okay, so green, green is, is slow. Green is low, we've worked that out now. Green is low, red is look out. Just gonna wear the wheels in for the first kilometer. Get some rough on it. These are quite shiny 97s. Now I've got the truck set to pretty loose, so it feels nice. Not double kingpin, which is fantastic, which means you can really concentrate on those speeds. Woo! This thing sounds like a jet plane. It has got some beautiful sounds coming out of it. Now, we're gonna go for a ride. We'll talk about the board, talk about some options, talk about the performance and so on. First thing I'll talk about is, I'm gonna do a number of videos on this board. I think it deserves it. We'll 100% do a separate range test, and we will 100% do a hill and speed test. But on top of that, we'll also do, and I'll, this is where you guys can choose, we're gonna do a alternative wheel test. So this comes with the ABEC cores, well not ABEC, they're, they're kind of like the cloud wheel cores, so they suit the Discovery. So, and I have a 105 and a 120 set. So you guys can comment down below which wheels you want me to test on the board next. 105s or 120s? Whichever one gets the most votes, that's the one that I will test on the board once we've done the range and the hill climb. Right, straight away, the board is very, very comfortable. Uh, the reversed camber deck is springy. 
with really responsiveness and that length at 42 and a half inches is just for i'm six foot and i feel so comfortable on it no drop down nothing no massive um no massive concave but that reverse camber is just really nice holds you beautifully feels just feels like a sports car okay first of all one thing that has to be mentioned is how smooth these wheels are on the cobblestones very very smooth not jittery at all not rattly which is a real surprise a lot of wheels on these cobblestones will will rattle and shake and uh, really send vibrations through your feet quick hill climb test this isn't going to be a measured one or a speed measured one we're just going to go up the hill over here as you can see this goes up to north head and manly it's about 850 meters of incline it starts off quite steep uh, flattens out a little bit and then it's steep again so we're just going to head up here now this first bit i'll just flick you around really quickly this first bit yeah wow look at that Okay, this is one fast board it just keeps accelerating i'm not even on full acceleration like this this is impressive like i can slow down off the accelerator and i've still got whoa it's still got the power to keep accelerating accelerating me up this hill Ooh, sorry i'm just keeping an eye out for car doors Super, super impressive. Really nice power. Um, and as you can see, the incline behind me is really steep. And that was a cop car that just went past. So I'm just going to duck down here quickly in case he does a U-turn. <laughs> it is theoretically legal in New uh, illegal in New South Wales. All right, I think the cops have gone. I don't think they were going to stop. They're generally pretty good out here. I was in a bike lane. I had a helmet on. I was doing probably about 35, 40 up a hill on a skateboard, so it probably does raise some eyebrows. Right, let's talk about this board. It is very stable. Um, I'm sitting on, I actually don't know how fast I'm going, but it's fast, especially considering I'm going uphill. Super stable, no wobbles, no uncontrollable uh, jerks or anything like that. Very user-friendly remote control beautiful sound the sound of the motors is I've already said it once it's like a jet plane it's got that high-pitched just awesome sound and it should do now these motors are very impressive they're like 1800 watts each uh, they peak out at 3000 watts each so these are big motors much much bigger than almost anything else on the market that you can buy and I guess especially for this price point yeah, buddy. but the power is just it's it's a it's really nice and because it is that visc you can up it you can down it you can change the brakes you can change the acceleration curve all that sort of thing so we're going towards north head a really nice piece of road you don't get too many cars Speed bump. I'm gonna slow down for a while. Oh, big hole. Ouch. Massive hole there. I'm gonna stop up here and just check my wheels. That was a big hole. Ooh. 
I love this power. Man. All right, so everyone who said, try BKB, you need to try BKB. You were right. This is an awesome board. It's an awesome setup. Really great motors. Beautiful VISC. Yeah, very, very good. That good's just road, by the way. Alright, here's the speed bump I was worried about. No, no issues. No issues at all. Alright, look at this view. Right, I'm just gonna pull up here and just check everything is still nice and tight. Recap. I've just checked the board. Everything is tight. There's no wobbles, nothing's come loose. The motors are lukewarm. They feel like they've been sitting in the sun for 10 minutes. Even the heat sink isn't warm. And we've just come up that massive hill. So it's 8.50 to the top. Then we've done the other hills. So we've done probably a K and a half of constant uphill. No chunks out of the wheels. We're just got, we hit that massive pothole. Plus the roads are quite rough. It's a, it's a, like a bitumen shingle stony thing. Super, super impressed. Uh, I was going to go down here, but there is a, it's closed off, I'm assuming because of the fire. So we'll head back towards the city. Last thing I want to do, you've just seen how well it goes, it just carves beautifully. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to unplug my microphone here and I'm going to go on the microphone on the media mod only. And the reason I'm going to do that is so I can put you down by the motors so you can really appreciate the sound that these motors make. So here we go. Heap of wind, but I'm hoping you caught that because that sounds awesome. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of the first ride of the BKB duo. Needless to say, as you can probably tell, as you probably could tell from all the smiles and laughing, I love this board. It's really nice. Let's do the SWAT really quickly. So strength, S. It's a big list. It's pretty much the whole board as a strength everything the wheels the motors the enclosure the deck the battery the visc the trucks even down to the grip you know i'm not normally a fan of pre-apply grip it's really nice i'll definitely put some dope grip on this it'll make it even better but just everything about it the motor mounts um the, just everything is beautifully done the thick gauge wire that goes from the esc till the visc sorry to the motors it's a pleasure to ride the rebound or the durometer on the wheels, it's beautiful on these rough surfaces on these cobblestones. It's just, there's no rattles, no vibrations. It's really nice. Right, let's move on to W, weakness. And you won't be surprised to hear me say that there are no obvious weaknesses yet. Obviously, we'll test it, we'll put the bigger wheels on, range test, hill climb, top speed, and so on. But as of right now on the first ride, going up that massive hill, getting those really insane speeds. Definitely, I guarantee you we're over 40, 45 kilometers per hour. Extremely happy. No weaknesses on the first ride as yet. Now, opportunities. Now, this is, the, this is a funny one. There are a couple of opportunities in my personal opinion. The first opportunity is, is this the remote control. 
Now the VX1 remote is one of my most favorite shapes. I love this shape, it's nice in the hand. But I think there's an opportunity in this day and age to have a screen. Doesn't need to be a color screen like the Evan GTS, just a screen to show you, you know, what gear are you in, what speed are you doing and so on. And maybe even a battery percentage. We know the VESC can deliver that sort of information. So that's one opportunity. The second opportunity, and this is really me just nitpicking, and that is around batteries. Now this has got a fantastic battery in it. Like it's got a good range, good cells. It's really nice, 329 watt hours, I think. I'll put it down below if that's wrong. But the second opportunity, I think, is that they could offer a bigger battery option. You know, there's, I've obviously seen inside the enclosure, there's definitely room for a bigger battery. And I think for someone who wants to get aboard to really go on those extra long night rides, there's definitely an opportunity for a bigger battery in there. Not to say that the one that comes with it is too small, it's an awesome battery, it's just an opportunity. Now for the T, let's move on to the threats. And I'm happy to say there are no threats with this board. It's not dangerous, there are no disconnects, no speed wobbles, nothing like that. It really is, the only threat there really is, and that's very similar to the Evan board, is it's very fast. If you're a beginner, I strongly recommend you work your way up to top speed. Because when you put this thing into the top speed mode, it is a rocket ship, it takes off. If you're on the flat, if you're on a hill it takes off, so you can imagine how far it takes or how fast it takes off on the flat ground. Guys, so let's wrap up chapter one there. If you've liked this video, please smash that like button, comment below, share, do whatever you need to do. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I make regular videos like this as often as possible. We're also diving into the world of uh, electric scooters, unicycles, one wheels. So subscribe if you want to see that stuff coming up in the near future. Uh, don't forget, guys, comment down below which wheels you want to see me test next, the 105s or the 120 clouds. Sorry, not next. Next we'll do the range test and we'll do a hill climb and speed test, an official one with uh, a couple of different speed ups running so we get it 100% accurate. Then we'll do the wheel test. Then we'll chuck the cloud wheels on. But you guys can control which wheels you want to see on there, the 105s or the 120s. It's up to you. The motors on this, it's not going to make any difference. It's going to handle the 120s or the 105s a piece of cake. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As I always say, don't forget to skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video.